All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Beverus Wolf back with a quick F note video related to MIDI um, and specifically to mapping MIDI. Um, I want to start with Addictive Drums, and then uh, I have a couple other um, MIDI software uh, virtual instruments that I'll try to. So, Get Good Drums and Stephen Slate Drums, where they all work a little bit differently, but I'm starting with Addictive Drums um, just first. So that's what I've been using lately. So, um, little screen recording here and I'll take you to through the process basically when you open addictive drums it looks basically like this um, you got to pick your drum set first you kind of have to like get into the software before it will um, record or at least trigger that sound but there we go so um, we'll just stick on the black velvet kit If you go up to these three lines up here, it's gonna bring up the MIDI options and you come up with map window to start. And what I often do, you know, it may be just set on empty, it might be set general MIDI, could be set in a lot of different ways. Um, but what I often do is just go to, you know, F notes not included in this, um, in a lot of these drum softwares yet, so hopefully they will be soon, but I use TD12 basic Works pretty good A lot of times this symbol won't um, trigger so that's my Usual only only issue, but what you can do if it's empty and nothing's triggering You can come over here. You've got kick and up right here where I'm my cursor is you can see where it says the key number that's the what's being input the MIDI number um, logic will give you a lot of times the the oh how would you say it the MIDI um, note like C1 or a2 or whatever it might be um, I can't find a way to do that in Luna at all but luckily the the plugin addictive drums um, has it already here so if i hit the snare that changes now it says 38 and the velocity there so i'm gonna go back to kick now what you could do is go like over to here and find key number 36 i believe it's c1 yeah right here just to double check it's c1 right so you could then um set that up via each key i believe but the easier way to do it the way to do it is you're hitting the kick and then you want to hit learn by the way i click it up here it says kick hit learn there you go now you've got kick go to snare um it, you have to kind of go through each little section for the snare there's a lot of it so um if you want to just start with like an open hit learn there we go. Now if I want to get a rim shot. Try that again. There we go. Now we've got rim shot. Ah, but this has changed, so. There you go. So you have shallow rim shot. You have all these different sort of options you can go through. You can do a rim click. That's key 37. Let's see if that sticks. If I do a rim click, 37, right? So now I have rim shots. Okay, I have no tom, so let's go to tom one. Open hit and a rim shot. Open. There we go. And you can see how this works. It's very easy. So you get over to like the hi-hats and stuff like that, um, you can do the, the hi-hat's got a lot more going on. You have to do like foot close, right? So as you're doing that, hit learn. Now I've got that closed with the tip, closed the shaft, right? Hi-hat closed two tip, you know, etc. You got hi-hat open. You can go through and basically do your entire drum kit that way. 
that's if you really want to get into the nitty gritty. You can go through each symbol. Um, the nice part is you could then dial in which symbols you want where. There doesn't seem to be splashes. You have a 16 inch, you have an 18 inch, at least for this kit. And that's a 20 inch China. So if I hit learn now, I got China there. So that's cool. Um, the faster way to do it is just to go pick out, you know, a roll and say, I've been just using TD12 and it works. good except for the splash it doesn't give you anything so you have to pick which symbol or china you would want to bring in for that some of these flexi channels sometimes have stuff you could put a cowbell if you wanted to you could put a cowbell there right so that's the gist of how you map the stuff around you could go through one by one and figure every little thing out or just put a kick that's basically working already and go with that um, and then um, after you've got after you picked up the mapping and you've got everything set there um, you may want to visit the mixer which is under the kit editor you can edit then the effects all that good stuff I want more reverb on that come over to the sends <laughs> send more reverb right that kind of stuff. You get your overheads, your room. I find a lot of times the symbols kind of low sometimes, so you need to bring up the room mics or the overheads. You can adjust uh, the hi-hat on its own. So you can bring that up there, etc. So then if you need to edit anything else, if you want to change the pitch or the response or anything of the drums, I mean, you can adjust in here forever. You can do the compression, take it on and off, the master set, all this stuff. I mean, it's kind of, you can tweak for days in here. But if you just wanted to edit the stuff, you know, change out the um, instruments, that's real easy. You can just click up or down here. Oh, sorry, I'm on Tom 1. There's a Gretsch. DW, sonar, go back to where I was here. Uh, that one. Whoop. There we go. Then the floor. All right, so you can edit those very, very easily. But if you just wanted to adjust what's there, you can change the pitch of things. You have to click over here on, you know, the kick part. Then I can change the... Um, where it sits in the overheads, right? So it comes up more in the overheads or not. And then you can change the pitch, you know, tone design, all that stuff, the response, all that good stuff here. Uh, the pitch. Oh, you can also just click on the snare. There we go. You click on the snare and then you can take the snare buzz out, put it back in. You can, um, Bring up the top or bottom mic that's being used for so I want it more snappy. I can take it out. Bring a little bit more poppy. Um the oh sorry, the pitch is here. There we go. So you can pitch up the drum however you want. You can turn that off. So you know, that's farther than I wanted to go in this video, but that's basically the idea. You can make these things sound like anything you want, but um, the mapping is the important part. I'll probably try to do another video in a different DAW or um, with Get Good Drums and um, Steven Slate. Those are the ones I used. I don't really use Easy Drummer. wasn't always impressed with the sounds there, and I don't have Superior Drummer. It's supposed to have more, but I figured if the Easy Drummer wasn't that good, I may not like Superior Drummer, so... That's it for now. Um, that's how you map um, the drums and addictive drums. And this is using Luna. 
uh, underneath. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.